hi there as promised i've come into the studio and i'm making a few commissions so i thought i'd just show you this technique which is called kiranuchi which is basically carving out of a block of clay uh, the first thing that i want to show you is a simple tea bowl simple japanese tea bowl a char one um, you've got clay you um you roughly need to take about half of the amount of clay and put it on a, a board or on a cloth and you just want to roll and pat that clay into kind of a, a tube shape like that. Um, it doesn't have to be too accurate because we're going to be carving away um, with the Kurunuchi style carving. So in your tool pack uh, you will have got something like this probably something like this or this um, in addition to that I would see if, you, if you've got something like this um, just a paint scraper they're really good for carving uh, quite big pieces of clay so if you take a piece like that what you've got to be aware of you want to leave some clay quite a thickness of clay at the bottom when we come to carve out to put the foot ring on but to start with we're just starting with a solid piece of clay like that and basically I'm just going to chop away little facets of clay from the piece so go quite randomly the idea is that it's not accurate that it's kind of scooped away like this um, the Japanese have a saying which is wabi sabi which is finding beauty in the errors or finding beauty in the mistakes um, these aren't really mistakes but you can't anticipate exactly how this is going to carve so it's a lot more random um, than probably you're used to so you can see I've got some really nice facets and lines and you want to keep all of those lovely marks in the piece I'm just working my way around if you've got a turntable you could pop it on a turntable but it doesn't really matter as long as you just keep it on a on a board so it doesn't stick to the table. Just gonna keep carving away like that until I get right round to the other side. I've decided to do some videos just like this where I'm just talking rather than super edited by my daughter. So let me know what you think. These will be a bit more instant. Um, so if you if you like this way of working this way of looking at the tutorials let me know okay so I've worked all the way around so you can see there's some lovely facets there and what I'm going to do now is carve into the interior of that tube now so you can use something like the tool that was in your toolbox like that one or a simple loop tool I think I'm going to start off with with the bigger tool just to get some of that main clay out of there so I'm just pulling that clay out you see it comes away and um, I'd left this clay for a couple of hours actually while I was working on something else but if you find your clay is a bit sticky you could leave it or, or dry it off with a hairdryer pop it on the top of a radiator just to get it so it's a little bit more solid like this so it's just working into the inside this is pulling out quite nicely actually so you can see I'm working down into the interior. So I'm just kind of focusing now on how low I'm going. So I don't want to go too low because I've got to put that foot ring in. So I'm going to stop there and then I'm going to turn that back round. And what I'm going to do now is just take some of this play away to create that foot ring again it's quite rough to start with just going to press that down a little bit and then I'm going to carve a little bit more away from those edges Let's go see how that, that sits. It's quite nice. 
and take a little bit more off here. And then what I'm going to do is just kind of round that off and I'm going to take a smaller loop tool just to get inside there to make a nice foot ring. So traditionally the, um, the foot rings are much deeper than you would find on a, on a, a teacup or something like that and it's kind of to elevate the, uh, the tea bowl. So I'm just going to take a little bit more off these edges. I'm doing this quite quickly you might take a bit, little bit more time in your carving depending on what you what kind of shape you're looking for so if I just turn that towards you can see that foot ring now and if you spend a bit of time just neatening that up again it's better when it's leather hardy you can just take a sponge and just sponge that down so I'm just going to see how that sits so you can just tap it gently onto the table just so it sits uh, nicely like that and now I'm going to use the finer tool just to go back inside and carve that away a little bit more control than the than the big one and take your time doing this it's a really therapeutic method so I'm just take take some of that weight away on the main part of the body. Take that out. And the traditional tea bowls don't have a handle. Part of the experience is that you're actually holding the tea bowl. The inside doesn't have to be really smooth, it can sort of copy the outside with the mark making. I've gone for more of a kind of a swirl inside, I'm nearly to the base now, so you just need to be careful that when you, where you've taken that foot ring up that you don't hit, hit where that foot ring is, so you're just going, just, I'm just going to feel that to make sure, yeah, it's quite... What I'd like to do is just to raise this up a little bit more. So I'm going to take a little bit more off here. Just take a little bit more so that it, it just sits a little bit higher. And a little bit more off this foot ring. I'm, I can afford to take some of that clay away just there. So it's your own judgment. There's no right and wrong rules. The Wabi Sabi way. Uh, have fun. Enjoy making these. You might want to make a whole set or a teapot. And as I say, you can just tidy that up. It's quite nice to leave some of those nice loose marks um, in the clay. I'm just going to tidy that edge up. Tea bowl.